We begin once again with health and now for the first time since a man died of the Ebola virus in Lagos. First Consultant Medical Center, the hospital where Mr. Patrick Sawyer, the man in question, died, has been speaking about all they did to ensure that the spread of the disease was, was curtailed and the infection rate eliminated. The hospital admitted Mrs. Sawyer with symptoms suggesting, uh, suggestive of malaria. The symptoms were fever, headache, and extreme weakness. The hospital says even as the victim was confirmed positive for malaria, but came out negative for hepatitis B and C and HIV tests, it started to conduct further tests since Mr. Sawyer was not responding to treatment and was developing hemorrhagic symptoms. The statement adds that although Mr. Sawyer denied being in contact with any person with Ebola, it decided to test him for the virus, bearing in mind that he was coming from Liberia, where there's been an outbreak of the disease. First Consultant's Medical Clinic said that it immediately quarantined the patients and commenced barrier nursing and simultaneously contacted the Lagos State Ministry of Health and the Federal Ministry of Health for additional laboratory tests based on IoT suspicion of Ebola. First Consultants Medical Center adds that it resisted immense pressure to discharge Mr. Sawyer from its hospital despite insistence that the Ebola victim had an important role to play at the ECOWAS convention in Calabar, the Cross River State Capital. According to the hospital, the initial results from Luth Laboratory indicates a signal of possible Ebola virus but required confirmation. Our first consultant says it then went further to contact senior officials of the Office of the U.S. Secretary of Health who assisted with contacts at the Center for Disease Control and the WHO Regional Laboratory Center in Senegal. The hospital asked that working with the state, federal and international agencies, it was able to obtain confirmation of Ebola virus disease. Now, according to the hospital, the gentleman in question uh, subsequently died at 6.50 a.m. on July 25th, and all agencies were properly notified. That's right. We also understand the hospital was then temporarily shut down with the immediate evacuation of in-house patients uh, while it removed and incinerated Mrs. Sawyer's body under World Health Organization guidelines witnessed by all appropriate agencies. Part of the statement reads, in keeping with World Health Organization guidelines, the hospital is shut down briefly as full decontamination exercises is currently in progress. The reopening of the hospital will also be in accordance with WHO guidelines.